Today we're filming a four-part series, so for the for the next four weeks, you're going to hear me say today is Sunday, April 11, 2021. We're going to take a look at the second part, which is going to be Ai Hamni Katate Dori Ikyo Kaishi Waza. Um, you know, last week we took a look at Swari Waza Kokyu Ho. Next week we're going to be taking a look at Ai Ham Gyaku Hamni Katate Dori Shiho Nage Kaishi Waza. And the week after that we'll be taking a look at Shomenuchi. Iriminage Kaishiwaza. We're here at the Texas Rock Gym where we have lessons every Monday and Wednesday from 6.15 p.m. to 8 p.m. If you're ever in the area, come by, stop by, and try a class. Tomoko, do you remember Kato Sensei teaching us Kaishiwaza? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he, was, he, he really focused a lot on it. Mm -hmm. I mean, he focused a lot on Ukemi, on, on, on the falls. Like, I, I have never go, gone to Hombu Dojo, mm -hmm. and then I did take some. Did we do some seminars? Yeah, we did a little bit of seminars. Mm. I don't know many other senses. Yeah, yeah. The only sensei that I know is mm. Kato sensei yeah, and yeah, you. Yeah. So uh, I can't speak of other styles that yeah, much. Yeah. yeah. But but the, the Kato sensei did practice some kaishiwaza. One of the powerful things that I remember about mm -hmm. Kato sensei's teaching mm -hmm. was that I really enjoyed his explanation of how we do the kaishiwaza. Mm -hmm. And then he would say, but mm -hmm. when the technique is done correctly, mm -hmm. there is no kaishiwaza. Mm -hmm. You know, when, the, when, the, when you really um, perform the technique, mm -hmm. you can't do kaishiwaza. Mm -hmm. and, and that was something very powerful to me and really pushed me to, to, because I never saw it that way until I met Kato Sensei. You know, before it was, I was taught a lot to, um, you know, to do ukemi so I don't get hurt. So in other words, someone's applying the technique. Mm -hmm. And I throw myself so my wrist doesn't break, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. And and then when I met Kato Sensei, it, it was you know he he never really talked about that. Mm -hmm. It was more like you you the person that attacks mm -hmm. is called uke, which ukemi, which means you're receiving the technique, mm -hmm. which means you have no choice mm -hmm. but to you know it's like you are being thrown. Mm -hmm. And and that really transformed the way I looked at ukemi. And then when he taught the kaishiwazas. Mm -hmm it really helped me a lot um, focus on the ukemi mm -hmm. and, and, and not just throwing myself blind, not just throwing myself to protect myself, but moving my body in a way that if the other person was being very aggressive, mm -hmm. it was, it, I, it, I was setting myself up to return that, that on them. Okay, right? makes sense, yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And, and I've done it many times. I mean, I, I, and, and I've made a few people upset mm -hmm because they were trying to throw me very hard and, and, and I, I just wasn't in the mood for that at that time. And I would, I just turned the technique around. Mm -hmm. And, and it was, a, what was amazing about it is they were putting so much power into the throw mm -hmm. that they flew mm -hmm. and they got pretty upset. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay guys, I do not have the microphone on, so the audio is going to be terrible, but now we're going to take a look at the Aihamni Katate Dori Ikyo Kaishiwaza. And on this one, it's more like the front roll. So um, when, you're, when someone's doing the technique to you, you're kind of going just like the front roll and coming in here and then coming back. Okay, so we're gonna demonstrate that real quick. So Tomoko is gonna do Ikyo. Yeah. Please remember to smash that Yay! like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. 
and I will see you on the next episode.